Hey, it's Shane. Thanks for hanging out today. I have a brand new Zoom Q2N, and it looks like this. The original plan was to do a comprehensive review of this camera, putting it through its paces, uh, but I thought that might get a little long and boring. So instead, I'm going to do a series of shorter uh, reviews, each showcasing a different feature of the Zoom QN. Uh, today, I'm going to uh, go through the different scene modes all in the same room. Uh, so I have basically a high school band room. Looks like this. And the lighting situation is fluorescence up in the ceiling. Uh, so the zoom has a bunch of scene modes. Um, they're descriptive, but I don't really know what they do. I think it would have been much better for them to put a uh, like an exposure compensation on there, you know, seven different levels uh, of bright and dark. Uh, instead, they have uh, done scenes. Uh, so I'm going to take uh, this camera through all the different scenes here in the same room, and we'll see how they look. Uh, I'm going to be playing my Yamaha Stage Custom Birch, a uh, small version of this kit, so you'll get to see how the microphones sound. I'm going to splice together uh, one long beat so the entire thing doesn't get boring, and I will flash up on the screen the settings I'm using for each section. So check it out. So that took me about an hour to record all those, and a brand new set of expensive batteries is about done. Uh, Zoom says you get two hours on a fresh set of batteries, but uh, these are not looking like they're going to last that long. So uh, that's definitely a concern. That's not really long enough uh, even to do a whole show. So make sure you pack extra batteries, or if you're going to use it stationary, get that uh, AC adapter. So there you have all the scene modes of the Zoom Q2N. Uh, once again, I think that labeling system kind of sucks. I think it would have been much more valuable to uh, have a plus and minus, you know, exposure compensation. You know, start at zero, go to minus three and plus three like a lot of digicams do. Uh, but instead, they went with that labeling system, uh, which I guess is okay for uh, people that aren't as experienced taking video. You can kind of pick one. Uh, but I'm not sure... Um, 
I would pick the right one in any given situation. You know, here in my studio or at my rehearsal space, uh, I can find out which one works and just leave it there. But if you're in an unfamiliar situation, uh, you're gonna kind of be guessing there. Uh, so the other thing that's uh, going on with the video here is there's uh, digital zoom. Uh, there's five different levels, uh, but a good rule of thumb, uh, both on video and digicams, is never use the digital zoom if you're gonna process the video later. Uh, that's because uh, Photoshop or uh, Premiere or whatever uh, software you're going to use to process it can do a lot better job of uh, zooming in than the camera can because your laptop or computer is a lot more powerful than the processor in the little camera. So if you're going to do any processing at all, just do not use any sort of digital zoom. Uh, if you're going to want to just cut it and uh, upload it right to YouTube or wherever you uh, display your videos, then you might want to use the digital zoom. Uh, I'm Shane. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, this is just the first of many videos on the Zoom Q2N. Uh, next up, I think I'm going to try it out in some uh, different spots, see how the microphone uh, handles you know, close placement and uh, far away and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for hanging out. Make sure you subscribe. Check out all the social media sites and all that, and take care.